Hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, my name is Lou and if you're not new here, welcome, welcome back love. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about journaling and how journaling has impacted my life in so many ways. Like we're going to be chatting here. So the first point we're going to be talking about is what is journaling. Our second point is why should you journal? Our third point is how to journal and our fourth point that we're going to be touching on which is a bonus and you're going to get to know the full details at the end of the video if you keep watching is app an app that i swear by when it comes to journaling and i've been using it for the past two years so let's get right into the video <music> going to be talking about what journaling is journaling is basically a space where you'd record your emotions, how you feel, your goals, your ambitions, and anything you want to put in. It's just basically using your either your pen or paper or your digital device. Okay, so I've been journaling for years now, like a very long period of time. I've been journaling since when I was in secondary school, but I wasn't an active journal. Um, like I wasn't doing actively in journaling i was just like doing here and there i would just write down like my goals what do i want for the new year stuff like that what do i feel like i want for my family for the new year and all that that was like my own form of journaling but when i started like two years ago i think i started even doing the pandemic i started to write down my emotions how did i feel about certain things and all that it helped me to kind of like calm down detox it was some form of therapy for me. So that's why we're going to get into why should you journal. It helps to declutter your mind. It helps to improve your mental health. And your journal is just like your personal, like it's personally for you. So it goes like you, you journal without no judgment. That's why it helps to declutter your mind because you know that this is for you and for you alone. Secondly, journaling helps to boost emotion, emotional intelligence. Journaling has helped a lot in my emotional intelligence to start with Sometimes like if I have an argument with someone or something like happens I sit down and when I journal I go through my journal and I'm like, what is the something different that I would have done? for me Getting irritated easily was one of the things that I knew that I had so much. I get so irritated. I'm like That's that's irritating. That's disgusting. Why are you doing that? So journaling helps me to be able to control those emotions and helps me to know that I didn't need to project that irritation to other people. I needed to like know how to manage it, know what to how to work on that, know the people that I need to like stop being around if those people are the ones that trigger that irritation in me. Another point is that journaling helps in achieving your goals. Honestly, when i started like actually actively writing down my goals what i wanted for the year i would usually write on the 31st of december like what i i really wanted um for like first first of january so i'd write down my goals and i would be like oh i want to do this i want to do that i want to start this up i want to start that up journaling really helped when it comes to, when it came to that because it kept it kept me accountable these were things that i'd already written down it wasn't like thoughts in my head i'd already written them down and i had to like it's either you do it or you don't do it you get so journaling really helps me with being accountable when it comes to my goals and then on like before my birthday i would like september i would write down like list of things that i wanted to do before the end of the year i'd edit like some of the things that I feel like I didn't touch on and I'll be like, okay, this is my new year. This is a new year to start. And then I'll just write them down like, and then continue from there. And then December comes again and I do like that routine. So that really helped me because of I was journaling. Another point is that journaling inspires creativity. I must tell you that it really helps when it comes to creativity. As an entrepreneur myself, I know that through journaling, I've been able to like, sometimes I just think in the night while I'm asleep and I'm, I'm just like, okay, I need to put this in my journal. And then maybe I wake up, get, grab my phone and type it or get my notepad and I jot it down. That's one of the things that I really know that journaling has really helped me. I look back at those things and I'm like, what am I going to do to help improve my business? What is something that I'm going to do differently? Now that I've started YouTube, journaling has helped me in the case of like, 
ideas that I have for videos, I'm able to put them in my journal and just be excessively creative. And when I look at the ideas, I'm just like, oh, this video, I could just like mix them with this. I could just join this together and all that. Joining has helped a long way when it comes to just sparking my creativity. The point is that you can give yourself advice when it comes to journaling. It basically serves as a purpose for just giving yourself personal therapy yes. so the next point is how do you journal first things first you need to decide on writing you need to start writing that's the first step when it comes to journaling you don't need to plan for it just just start writing that's it you just need to start writing the second thing you need to do like the next step you need to do is to create a schedule or create a writing routine you need to anchor like journaling with your habits so that it gets like it's gonna be like easy for you okay do i journal like after supper do i journal when i'm taking like um um, um lunch break do i journal early in the morning um before i have my shower what do you think how do you want like to incorporate journaling into your day-to-day -day activity know that you can always journal like anytime you feel like journaling anytime is okay like you don't need to have a specific time when you should journal you need to set time limits do i journal for 15 minutes 10 minutes do i journal for 20 minutes do i want to journal twice in a day three times in a day do i want to journal like as it goes do i want to journal three times in a week do i want to journal five times in a week yeah so journaling it mustn't be like your time limits must not be like every single day you need to journal you need to also know that you put in date entries if you are using like a notepad you definitely put oh 30th of september 2022 okay this is my journal for that then another thing you need to do is to let go of judgments you know that this journaling is for your eye and for your eye alone so you write down things unfiltered whatever you feel like writing in your journaling app you can or on your notepad or on your notes um your notes app on your phone you can do however like you can journal however you want to do that so lastly we're going to be talking about the bonus round so i'm going to be telling you about an app that i trust and swear by this is this is an app that i've been using for like two years now so the name of the app is day one i'm going to pop the icon on the screen here and i'll also pop on some other details like about the app here as well so day one i've been it's like a really reliable and user-friendly app like you'd really love it the app is a digital app that helps to for you to journal it has a paid version and you can also use the free version i've been using the free version for a while and i think i need to even invest in getting the paid version because it's totally worth it so for the re i'm just going to be talking about the features like on the free version the first thing that you're going to get on the free version is you get a touch id or like passcode or your face id for like opening into the app the app is very private like nobody can just stumble on your app and try to like read your journals it's just the perfect way to journal when it comes to privacy which leads us to like the no judgment type of thing also um the um the free version it also has um you're able to like get updates from like previous journaling that you've done if you did um a journal on this specific day last year it's just going to notify you for you to be able to see your goals and be grateful and have gratitude for how far you've grown you definitely know that is a very like big difference between how you were before and how you are now now the app also helps you to input pictures you can input emojis and so on and so as a paid version just helps you to impute one picture i just go to my like editing app and do a collage of like the pictures that i feel like i want to put and then i impute it into the app and i can see it's like the next day the year after so on and so forth it also has an audio feature where you can record your voice if you don't feel like typing and this is also in the paid feature you can also scan documents which is also in the paid feature which is why i feel like i need to opt in to get in the paid feature because it's is really reliable also export your files when you use the paid version as well so um you need to try out the day one app it's so so reliable and i really love that so yeah we come to the end of this video i hope you've learned a lot from this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel 
um share with your friends and yeah thank you